I want to show you the Fender No Load Tone Pot today. So here's a regular CTS pot. Uh, came out of a Fender Strat from a 94 Fender Strat. Uh, these are the Fender No Load Pots. I actually have one with a smooth shaft here that you can use with a set screw knob and this one has a spline shaft uh, for the plastic Strat knobs. So they don't look any different if you look at them, they don't look any different from the outside than any normal pot, with one exception. There's actually, there actually is an exception on the back if you look at the back side. There's a little, they've pressed in a little indent into the case, which is probably going to be really hard to pick up on there, but we'll talk about that. So I've got one of these. So I've got this guy pretty much ready. I've lifted the tabs. I'm going to take this apart so we can see what's inside this, see how this works. I've just got a small screwdriver and I'm lifting up, there's four tabs on the body that hold this assembly together. So you just get a screwdriver small enough to get underneath those tabs and lift them up till they're, till they're flush. You can also use a needle nose pliers once you get there to straighten them a little more. You just have to be careful not to overbend them. You don't have to overdo it, you just have to get them up vertical so the assembly can come out. Okay, so that should get me the ability to take that apart. So, as you can see there's there's actually grease down inside there, there's a lot of grease for the uh, for the pot so you don't want to get into that. I'm going to set this down so that I'm not setting it down into the grease. Inside of here this they've, they've pressed an indent into the, there we go, they've pressed an indent into the case which gives you a little dent on the inside and what happens is there's a spot in this plastic ring that's indented that will that will when those two line up this thing will drop in and lock and kind of lock it so what you get is with these the when you turn them all the way clockwise there's a detent position that they kind of stick in there to let you know that they've dropped in and then there, it takes a little bit of force to pull them back off of that position which on a strat when you've got the typical plastic knobs that's actually kind of stiff and hard to pull off of that fully clockwise position. I've noticed with the telly and the big, bigger knurled knobs, chrome knobs that are um, kind of like this, you don't, you don't notice that as much. It's a little easier to, to bring that off of that position. But what you get inside here is, let me, I'm going to take this piece off. That's what the little tangs were holding on to, to keep that whole thing assembled. This is the resistive element that makes the pot a pot. And what you will see is this resistive element, if I can show it here, starts here, goes around, and it actually ends right there. You can kind of see that 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 resistive element actually ends. So when you turn the the pot all the way clockwise, the wiper comes off of that and just hits this plastic, and it disconnects. So the whole idea behind the no load pot, the wiper is on this assembly here. I don't know if I can show that very well, but it's it's right here. So the idea is typically you've got you wire this uh, you would wire this no load pot whatever you're going to attach the the tone control to whether it's an individual pickup or the output or to the wiper of the output there's a, a number of ways to do that but Essentially, you're, going to, you're not going to use all three terminals. You're only going to use 
this, this end and the center and you're going to take your signal that you want to connect the tone control to connect it to the, to the outside and then you'll connect a cap from the center to ground. Normally it'll just get soldered onto the, the body of this pot. So what the no load does is when you get all the way clockwise and you drop into that detent this actually becomes an open circuit. Instead of going to the full 250K or 500K or whatever it is of the pot, it actually disconnects this and takes that, that capacitor and the resistor of the pot out of the circuit entirely, takes, out, takes the load off of your pickups and gives you a little bit brighter tone. So if you're looking at the assembled no load pot, you're going to use, you can see on this one a little bit that this has been removed so it's got some solder still left on it. If you've got, if you're looking at the back of the pot and the terminals are up, you're going to use these two terminals, the left, the left terminal and the center terminal. This right terminal essentially becomes a, an, an unused terminal in this configuration. So here's the, here's the unit apart and you can kind of see You've got the center one is connected to this to the wiper, which you can kind of see in here, and then this outer one is connected to the resistive element that becomes more resistive as you go around, as you go around this way. So here's the wiper. This is what would be fully counterclockwise. So it basically would be a short circuit at that point. It would be having the tone control turned all the way down so it would be its you know the darkest setting. So as you turn this and that wiper starts to move around the element you get more and more resistance which in this case means the capacitor has less and less effect and the tone gets brighter and brighter. So as you go all the way around to this other side when you get on the no load to the part here at the end where that where that resistive element goes away, that basically then becomes completely disconnected. When the wiper gets to the end, it runs off the end of the resistive element, and now it's just touching plastic, essentially, and it becomes an open circuit. So the one thing you could do if you don't like how stiff that is when you get to the fully clockwise position, and it takes a little bit of effort to pull it back off so when you're playing if you just want to roll it back a little bit it's kind of hard to do that quickly sometimes you could open this up like this and go into this case where that little indentation is that's inside not the not the one along the edge here there's there's one right here on the edge which is actually the stop that stops it from turning gives you the stop when you go counterclockwise or clockwise when you get to the end of rotation that's the stop but more in the center it's not really center but it's more inside of the pot right here I don't know if I can ever get that to look at there's a you can see on the back where they've pushed that in you could you know take a small punch or probably just a, a kind of a big flat screwdriver and you could flatten that out you could push that back out push it back out flush and that would that would eliminate that that detent position that they give you if you don't like that but that's essentially what you're dealing with with a fender no load pot so then as far as reassembly is concerned so take the uh, the shaft with the wiper this assembly and you just drop it back into the into the case you'll see when you turn it that it has its stops. There's really no right or wrong to way to put that in. They just drop it in there so that you know the greasy side is down. And then take the resistive element that is the pot. That actually goes with the resistive element face down so that it will contact that wiper. There's actually two wipers in there, but um, drop that back in so that the, uh, the terminals are on the side that has the the indent on the case, the stop that's pressed into the case. I don't know that it would even go in the other way. I guess it will, but that's the the right orientation is to have the solder terminals on the side that has that that indent in the case. Then you drop this piece that has the mounting threads on top of that. Doesn't matter which orientation. That can go in either way. It's 
it's symmetrical and then you just kind of have to hold that down and take a needle nose pliers and start to fold those pins those pins, tangs, tabs, whatever you want to call them just start folding those down and then once you get them over the edge you kind of push them forward as you go to make sure they, uh, they're they snug and they they lie down flush here just kind of roll them over until they're flush and there we go it's back together again so that's essentially the Fender no-load tone pop